Hello everybody, this is Attila Botogi speaking here for the 20th edition of Dental World. <clears throat> this is the implantology section and my topic today is novel techniques in tissue preservation and regeneration. So today I try to introduce you some minimal invasive procedures in implantology, but maybe it's a surprise for some of you Originally, I'm a prosthodontist. So I'm dealing with smile makeovers and full mask reconstructions. And I'm a prosthodontist who's placing implants as well. I think this is the most reliable way of planning cases from the beginning to the end. Because as a prosthodontist, I have to understand where is the proper position what is the correct smile line, what is the proper function, sometimes with utilizing implants. And I consider uh, implant dentistry a prosthetic discipline with a surgical component. I believe in dental education. This is why we established my education projects, both in implant and aesthetic dentistry. And this training center is uh, accredited by the Dental XP. We have four modules in aesthetic dentistry and eight modules in uh, to the bone level. But the solution is, can be uh, quite easy if you utilize excluded in the restoration. You just unscrew your crown, cut back your shield to the bone level, put back the crown and it will heal very nicely. So as I told you, it can be utilized in posterior dentition as well. So here comes the premolar case, hopeless tooth, fractured, remove the tooth, just the shield remains inside the socket, place the implant palatally. And here's an immediate x-ray with the temporary abutment and the temporary crown. And after six months, the patient were, uh, wore uh, a temporary for six months. And here comes the uh, final restoration. And if we convert the initial to the final, there's no any tissue volume change buckly. Why? Because the socket should uh, kept the tissue, now you can see this cross-section image on the CBCT. This is the position of the shield, cortical plate, the beveling, and here on the right side, this is the implant level, nice papillae position, bony peaks. And maybe it's a surprise, you can utilize socket shield for a molar dentition, both upper and lower dentition as well. So it's a guided case. I remove the tooth. Uh, the two tooth fragments remain right here. Proper position, bone filler, large healing abutment. And look at what happens after, let's say, five to six months. I just removed the, the, the healing abutment and look at this tissue volume. It's amazing. One operation, one time. No bleeding, no swelling. Minimal invasive procedure. So let me show you another case with Pontic Shield, which is uh, a variation of partial extraction therapy without uh, implant placement. Initial situation, we have multiple issues. We have large recession in the canine, but the most challenging part is the right central. It's hopeless. We have to remove it, but just imagine what can happen with this situation, with this very thin cortical plate. Just imagine <clears throat> if you remove, it heals with a large recession, large defect. So I removed the palatal portion, like here. So it's a C-shaped profile of the shield. Why? Because these portions 
can uh, support the puppy leg. And you will see how nicely it heals with the temporary. Just look at the buckle profile. No dimension change, no tissue loss at all. Papillae, both mesial and distal, with the pontic side 